Good morning, Grissom Band students. Happy Wednesday. It's Wacky Wednesday. It's a Wednesday, my dudes. I hope you guys are all doing really well. Um, I hope you enjoyed your day yesterday. It was so sunny and warm and nice. Um, it's gonna be kind of warm today, but it's gonna rain a lot, unfortunately. Um, but you'll see the weather's gonna start getting warmer and nicer more often, which is good because it's spring. Um, so today is day 28 of our Corona break. If you're following your calendar, it is the 29th of April. It is almost May, you guys. We only have like today and tomorrow left. And then it's gonna be May. Pretty exciting. Um, so if you're new to our distance learning class, welcome, great to have you here. Today's assignment in your Schoology Corona Break folder. That's when you go on Schoology and you find from my class a folder that says Corona Break 2020. You click on the folder, click on the name, the title of the folder, and it opens it up to a bunch of different weeks. You're gonna select week six of Corona Break. And then after that, you're going to click on the folder that says day 28. And that's today's stuff for class. <clears throat> so for today's um, assignment in our class, I have a discussion topic posted about music and copyright. Um, if you're unsure what copyright is, especially involving music, I have a really nice link posted and you can just read There's just a couple little brief things that explains it. Um, so that might clear some things up if you're confused um, or if you just want to know more about it. It's there. Um, so I've got a link about copyright so you can find it a little bit more. And then once you read it, all you have to do is decide if you're for copyright or against copyright when it comes to music. Um, and then type in your opinion, either yes, I'm for copyright and here's why, or no, I don't think copyright law should exist and here's why. Um, just typing yes or no will not get you the credit. You have to have an explanation. You have to support your opinion. Um, and that's all you have to do for today's assignment. Super easy, you guys. Um, if you don't have your Flipgrid assignment and you need to keep working on that um, and get that turned in, um, I know some of you never did Flipgrid assignment one and that's fine. You can start right on assignment two or if you wanna do assignment one first, it's fine. Basically what I'm looking for, are you doing the work for my class? Are you making an attempt at the work for my class? If you're making an attempt to the work in my class, you're gonna get the, the grade. You're gonna get um, the fact that you attempted it and you're gonna get credit. If you are not making any attempts at the work at all for my class, you're not gonna get any credit. Sorry guys, um, that's just the way it works. Um, so the things that we're doing in my class for that credit, for that weekly credit grade is participation in our Zoom class. That happens every Monday. Um, a participation in the Flipgrid assignment, turning that in, and then commenting in our Schoology discussion on Wednesdays. And that's it. That's all. Um, I will be offering Fun Friday challenges. We'll be having a uh, Fun Friday challenge loosely based on something that I saw on TikTok. Um, where like someone has a hairbrush and it comes down either from the top of their screen, up from the bottom of their screen or from side to side. And then they look all messed up and then they use the hairbrush and suddenly oh, they're gorgeous. And then they pass the hairbrush to the next person and they make their video. Um, we're not using a hairbrush guys, we're gonna use sheet music. If you don't have sheet music at home, you haven't printed it out or you don't have a copy of sheet music with you, no problem. You can have a sheet music stunt double and just a regular piece of paper um, that we're going to be using. So um, I will have instructions for our Fun Friday challenge um, for the videos um, on Friday. I might post it Thursday so you can get some ideas going because um, we have to figure out which way different people are going to be grabbing the paper. I think we're just going to go from like this side of the screen, the paper comes in, you look at it, you respond to it, you might have your instrument in your hand, and then you take it and you pass it to the other side of the screen. I think that way it'll be easier for everybody. And I think it'll be good. Um, and hopefully you guys will be, give you a chance to be more creative with this and it'd be a fun thing that we can all kind of get involved in. Um, involved and there's a d at the end of that um so that's this week's fun friday challenge again if you participate in the fun friday challenges your name goes in a drawing for a fun prize at the end of the semester 
So stay tuned for more details on this week's Fun Friday Challenge. All right, so let's talk about the instrument pickup. I know most of you have your instruments at home, which is great. Um, we did have around 40 instruments that were left at school. Drumsticks, um, instruments. I had a couple trombone mutes that I needed to hand out to people that have a hard time practicing at home because of the noise. Um, so we had a curbside instrument pickup available yesterday from nine until 11, um, and I was there the whole time. So. That way, if you did come by, it's good to see you. I know a lot of students came with their parents or siblings or whoever brought them um, to come pick up their instrument. And it was just awesome to see a lot of you guys. I really missed you. Um, yeah, <laughs> it was good to see your parents and people that brought you as well. It was just good to see like real humans. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, my family, they are real humans and I do see them every day, but seeing some different faces and just seeing you guys it was really awesome. So um, that was kind of a highlight of my day. Um, if your instrument was not picked up, here's what you need to do. Um, you need to make arrangements with Ms. I or Mrs. Samp through email. And you just send them an email and say, hey, I wasn't able to pick up my instrument. And communicate with them as far as like days and times. So that way you guys can coordinate it. Because here's the thing, you guys. Um, since we've been shut down, there's no one in the school on a regular basis. A lot of you guys may not realize that the teachers aren't there, okay? Um, the teachers are only allowed in the building maybe one day a week for about an hour, and that's all, okay? Not every day, one day a week. And the way it's kind of been working out for us, it's like every other week. So the teachers aren't there. Um, secretaries are only allowed in one day a week um, for a half day. So they're done by noon and they're out of there. Um, and even Mrs. Samp and Ms. I, they're not there all day like they normally would be. They're done around noon, one o'clock. So you have to make those appointments with them because there just is not people in the building. Mr. Steve, our custodian, is not even there the whole time, all day, every day, like he normally is. Um, the only people that are really allowed in the building is the volunteers that come in to pack the food for the food distribution. And that's all, there's no one there. The buildings have been deep cleaned, so they're not letting students go in and get stuff out of their lockers. Um, you will be at some point allowed to do that. I don't know if you'll be allowed in the building to do that. They may actually just clear out people's lockers and do a curbside pickup type thing like what we did with the instruments. I don't know how that's gonna look or when that's gonna happen. Um, I mean, it's gonna have to happen before the end of the school year. So hopefully when the stay at home order is lifted, um, we'll have a better idea of how that's all gonna work. But guys, no, no one's allowed in. Um, like even when the teachers are allowed in, we're only allowed in a certain door. Um, we gotta scrub down and we have to log what time we enter the building, we have to log what time we leave the building so that if someone gets sick, they can kind of trace it to who that person is and make contact with that person. I mean, it's, I guess it's serious, okay? Um, so I know a lot of you have been asking, when can I get my stuff? Why can't we get in the building? Um, and just assuming things like, there are people there all the time. There's not, they just aren't. Um, people aren't leaving their houses. Um, and that's supposed to be. So that's that's the deal with that. Like our instrument pickup was like a very special circumstance that Miss I had to pull some strings to allow us to do. It was super nice of her to do it, but um, that was a one-time thing. So if you still need to get your instrument, email Miss I, email Miss Samp, one or the other, it doesn't have to be both. Um, call the front office. Now the front office, um, if you're calling the school, you may or may not get like a real human. I hope so. Um, but like I said, there's just not a lot of people there. So if you call the front office, I would recommend you make that call like somewhere between like 8 a.m. and 1 p.m. I know some of you don't wake up till two in the afternoon, but you may just have to get up early, guys. Um, don't stay up all night for those of you that are playing video games all night and sleeping till two. I know that's fun. I know that may be like your jam for summer, but it's not that great for you, okay? Um, 
So if you need your instrument, that's what you need to do. Um, if you have any questions about that though, send me an email, let me know, um, communicate with me and I can help you get that ball rolling, okay? Um, Cause yeah, the idea of maybe emailing the principal, a little scary, like it's a little weird, um, but it's okay. If you need me to help you get that ball rolling, I can help you get that ball rolling. So just reach out and we'll, we'll get things figured out, okay? Um, other than that, that's all I have for today. I hope you guys are having a good day and you guys are safe and I hope you guys are healthy and um, get those flip grid assignments in so I can give you some feedback. And I hope you guys have a good one. Catch you later. Bye.